Hello, welcome guys. Today I will show you how to use select function. So I am using MySQL Workbench. Now under the schema section, I will right click and create a new schema or with what we call database. Now let's keep the name database1 for your understanding. Now click on the apply and apply and finish. Now it's created. Here you can see in this tab it's showing database 1. And as you can see here the arrow it shows all the tables inside this data viewed but right now we don't have any tables. So now as we already have one data set let's import that data set into this table. Right click on that right click on table click on table data import yz now a one data set retail sales data set now click on that and open and now click on next it telling you whether you want to import in existing table or you want to create a new table as we don't have any existing table right now so we will select create new table now click on the next now it's showing all the columns all the header columns inside the data set like transaction ID date customer ID gender and etc and it's showing the its data type like its integer or text and we can change it from here also all right now now click on the next and next now it start importing and finish now as you can see it's not showing anything so for that you have to refresh all now you can see the table now inside that under the table you can see the retail sales data set now now in this script tab so we have to tell the database that which database you want to use as for now we have only one database but in real world scenarios you will have a multiple database for that we need to specify that we are using the database one only so in query terms we have to say use database one and that's it now we have to put another query now we want to show all the data inside the table like all the columns and all the rows. For that we will use a special statement called select. Now just focus here select and now we want to show all the data. For that there is one called asterisk. This symbol is used in structure query language to show all the data from inside the table. Now, now as we say select all the data from which table? The table name we have to write here the table name. What is the table name? Table name is retail sales data set and that's it now put the semicolon in the end so it's indicating to the database that we, our statement ends here now to execute all this for now we don't execute any statement so what we will do here you can see one symbol so just click on that symbol and it will execute here you can see 
one table shows up and something changed here. Now this is called the status bar which shows whether the query executed perfectly or not or if you encounter any problem it will show here. As you can see now it's saying our first query which is use database executed successfully as because it's showing the green mark. Now the second query the second query select star from the retail sales data sets executed successfully because it's showing the green mark here. Now it's also telling the information like it has 1000 rows written. So we have 1000 rows as you can see. Now let's move to this table. So whatever the data we imported you can see here. So we use this query to communicate with this database. As in SQL, we specially use the SQL language query to communicate with this database. Now, as you can see, we have date, column, customer ID, gender, age, product category, quantity, and etc. Now, if you want to see the bottom rows you can press ctrl down shift now if you wanna now if you want to if you want to know now if you want to show the last row you can press ctrl down arrow so here we have like the last row and you can see and you can analyze so this is the power of the select query and it is very important in data manipulation language command